While belching is widely considered to be rude, livestock don't seem to care. All day, every day, they burp. But it's not the act of burping that's the problem. It is the methane that they release into our atmosphere. The average cow emits a whopping 220 pounds of methane gas a day. Well, New Zealand is doing something about it by taxing burping livestock. Mike Drolet explains. With a population of just 5 million, New Zealand's carbon footprint is relatively small. Its hoof print, however, is through the roof. And now, in a world first, New Zealand farmers will have to pay a tax for every one of the methane emitting 10 million cattle and 26 million sheep that roam the scenic countryside. The farmers will be able to mitigate their tax burden if they lower emissions by modernizing their operations. Where the program could fail is if farmers pick up and move their operations to another country. When you shut down farms and they go someplace else, then that doesn't mean that the demand for these products that these farms used to produce all of a sudden ceases to exist. The demand is still there and will be satisfied by somebody else elsewhere in the world. And that means that emissions will simply shift from one place to another. Cows and sheep are ruminant animals, meaning they have four chambered stomachs that act like fermentation vats that create methane, 95% of which comes right out of their mouths. As far as greenhouse gases go, methane traps up to 36 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide does. And that's bad. But while the carbon dioxide we emit today will stick in the atmosphere for centuries, methane dissipates in far less time. The good news is that methane is short-lived. It only lives about a decade in the atmosphere, and then it's killed, it's destroyed. New Zealand is hoping for the kind of success seen in California, which has reduced the methane produced by its dairy farms by 30%. However, California did it through incentives, not taxes. Whether or not it works, the impact of burping livestock on global warming still pales in comparison to the real culprit the exhaust belching out of our dirty tailpipes. Mike Drillet, Global News, Toronto.